What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we are in another rebuild on Madden 20. We are doing the Chiefs future 10 year realistic rebuild and I don't know if this is going to be a proper series that we're going to do but I figured we did the Patriots. Might as well do the Chiefs since the Chiefs actually won the Super Bowl. First things first to take a look at we need to see if there was actually any Super Bowl wins in this time and apparently there was so Andy Reid in 10 seasons technically wins three Super Bowls because obviously real life Super Bowl doesn't count because 2019 you know has to be sim so unless of course they won at year one which I don't know if they did two to three Super Bowls in 10 seasons is not terrible as for the starting roster let's take a look at how my homeboy is doing and Okay, so he's still a 99 overall, which is nice. He has an extra, you know, point saved up for when he does regress. Also, you know, 23k away from another upgrade. That should be like a season's worth or so. Uh, looking at the team, though, Hardman, 31 years old, 83 overall. Yikes. Uh, Demarcus Robinson, yikes indeed, 29. Uh, Greer, 75 overall, 26. Tight end, please be young, please be young. 31. Okay, this guy, 89 overall. 28 years old they did not do a great job at least as of recently to keep the team going uh buyers 27 that's not terrible ray is 30 i know this guy's gonna be old right but please oh <gasps> they landed a steal okay never mind 22 years old superstar x factor okay they landed a really good pick who the hell is this guy who the excuse me okay so I didn't get to say like and subscribe and then follow me on Twitter, Trump PK, and then check out my second channel, PK Air Plays. I'm near a thousand subs yet, but I just did, so please do it. <laughs> but of course, we're going to have a decent bit of a challenge on our hands. I don't know what the last season was like. I don't know if they banked any draft picks. Hell, they might have zero draft picks. Uh, oh, the pass rush are actually not looking too bad around here. Okay, so. A bit of pass rush. Everything else, though, not so much. So, first things first, before... Uh, and I'm really not the first things. We did a bunch of things. I want to take a look at what the average overall is in the league to see if the sliders were decent. Um, right now, I'm seeing that maybe bump them a bit because 81 to 83 is probably not the best. I think you want the average team to be at least 83, 84... I mean, it's not terrible. It's not terrible. Can't lie. It's not the worst. But I think maybe bump them 25 each. So if you want to do something like this yourselves, this is what we had the sliders on. 150 QB, 150. This is what we had it on. Maybe put the QB up a little bit more. Halfback, actually, maybe like 170. O-line, probably 240 each. DNs probably do a little higher. But that's what we had it on. So there's that. All right, so we're at about the mid-season points. And we have some re-signings. Uh, we're going to go with this uh, this tackle for sure. We have a lot of money, so it definitely tells me that we're just not spending money in free agency. So, you know, maybe we'll be able to turn things around here. Harrison Butker, you can't really get too much better than that. I know he's 34, so next season he could regress hard. Hell, he might even retire on us, but we're going to take that risk. Uh, once again, we have a lot of money, so Byers, one of the best players on the team. Might as well get that contract done. Any other contracts? Ellis Ray. I feel like there's going to be better than that in free agency. Uh, left guard, maybe. Holt. I don't think we're going to get much better than him. Five-year deal. He has a scenario right now, so I want to see if he gets this scenario first. Uh, Jordan Herrera. That's not a bad player, but we might let him walk. Once again, I'm basing a lot of this. Like You can see this overall. 77 overall left tackle. Left tackle. 1.22 mil. That tells me he's not one of the best players in the league at all. Blaine Stacy, not a bad quarterback. They must have landed a steal. Um, we're off, you know, we're pretty much letting a lot of these guys go, but we're just hoping free agency is going to be decent, and I think it will. I really do. Damn it, Holt did not get his development up. Like, I like Holt's finesse, right? They did a really good job with him, considering he's only an 80 overall, but he has 92 finesse. But at the same time, you know, 10 mil a year for an 80 overall is quite expensive. What is his position in the league? 16th best. I guess if we're going to make a bad decision, it'll be on a pass rusher. Which, you know, it's not like those guys are important, right? A lot of 70. These, I mean, this is half the roster gone, so I'm really hoping we're right about this thing. Nothing more than I love to teeter at, at 500. And, I said and, we get exactly that. The Bronx. <laughs> Why? 
I mean, I'll take the postseason at eight and eight. You know, it's it, it's not bad. We did we beat the Broncos twice? We did, of course. Like, I don't know what you know teams are doing well and all that. Like, really, we made the playoffs at eight and eight. Patrick Mahomes, thirty-three touchdowns, four thousand yards. We actually want to. I kind of want to see what his his career. Not goals. No, 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 no. Uh, he's been not doing super well. It's it's crazy. Like, you're like, oh man, that's uh. That's franchise, clearly. It's like, no, it's 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 not. It's 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 not franchise numbers. That's that's his real life numbers. Demarcus Robinson, maybe X Factor, I don't know. Miko Hardman, maybe superstar, I don't know. Everyone else, obviously not a chance. Offensive line didn't play that poorly, actually. Uh, tackles Byers could go to superstar. Bola could go to star, should go to star. McCrary, really good player. Holt, six and a half. That's I mean, we seen last rebuild. Bosa was at four and a half, you know, like it's, it's not easy on these streets for sacks, especially if you're me, you get like half of what you're supposed to. Lamar Jackson is apparently a Jaguar. Interesting. Interesting. Patrick Mahomes on the list. Baker Mayfield. So, uh, you know, a lot of players in the right position, but then again, Patrick, uh, Lamar Jackson going to the, the Jags is quite interesting. Jaguar is with, uh, Lamar at number two. Jaguars look like they're on like a really good path. They like they they seem like they know what they're doing. Like, what, what, uh, did somebody sneak into this freaking franchise and like play the whole ten seasons? I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> They've got a really good squad, it seems. So we're an eighty-three overall now. Uh, still not great at all, but obviously we haven't technically touched anything yet. Uh, defensively, any upgrades majorly? Got a couple of overall upgrades that we'll be able to make at some point. If we didn't check out some of the normal guys, like they could be really young and developable. Uh, Chiefs versus Patriots, they're an 84 overall. We're not 83. Speaking of Joey Bosa, there he is. They have a superstar X Factor quarterback. Nice. Awesome. I can't imagine that's a very good addition of Joey Bosa. It's got to be like an 84, 85 overall. So hopefully he doesn't wreck shop against us. Postseason monster, apparently. He had like two or two and a half sacks against us in or for us in one of our postseason games last rebuild, which is hilarious. Yeah, not a bad start to this first season out of the ten year sim, and you know we're in the playoffs. Obviously, we didn't once again we didn't have anything to do with it, but it's an eight and eight season starting with the playoffs. It's not a bad place to be. You know we we have a a platform to work with, and apparently we have a chance to go to the divisional, and more than a chance we're in the divisional. Okay, okay, dudes. Uh, yeah, we need to hit this window nicely because Mahomes is uh, probably going to make it for the rest of this, hopefully. Right? Hopefully, I think. Holt with three. Okay, dude. Okay, Holt. I love you, Butt Kerr. So we're going to have to start making fun of your last name again, calling you like Butt Kerr or something. Like, and then everyone will hate it. I get we won that game, but there is zero chance we. Oh, yeah, especially with the Jaguars. What's their overall? 83 overall, Josh Allen, Miles. Could we not? Could we not have that insane of a roster, guys? Please, let the rest of us have a couple of wins. Going to the end of the game, 7-0. Seven seven. Oh, he scored a touchdown early. Defense holds him as well. Don't tell me we actually have a legit chance here. Like, I don't know where I go from here if we win a Super Bowl year one. Because the roster probably isn't good enough. Uh-oh. I was joking. I'll, I'll take a year one Super Bowl. I, it doesn't matter what I'll take because we're most likely going to lose. Okay, is the clock running? It is running. Nice. I haven't used my homes all year. No way, dude. No way. How does he get that ball there? Are you for real? Are you going to leave it one-on-one? -on -one? I was about to throw it. I don't think Riro would have had it anyways. How the hell did that guy catch up? Did you see that? I was about to throw it, but yeah, that, you know, that's the, that's the kind of thing that happens. Holmes wasn't bad, just we needed more yards, more touchdowns, even though there was a decent bit of those. Uh, we weren't ready, but we were damn close. We we almost freaking made it there. Uh, kind of glad once again that we didn't make it, but, you know, I'm just, I'm just, you know, a cheeky little Super Bowl trip wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world. I, you know, I've... I know of worse atrocities. And yes, we have a million XP for our coach, but that's just the way it is, okay? We have, like, every trait you need. Taking a look at the Pro Bowl roster. I don't know who would have made it there. Probably a few of our guys. No QB. Um, anyone at all? Anyone? 
McCole Hardman, I'm surprised he actually made it. Offensive line, maybe our right tackle. Right ta I think that's our right tackle, right? I don't even know. I, I don't even know. Uh, D ends was the guy wasn't on it. Okay, dude. Okay, dude. Anyone at all? Not a whole lot of players. I thought that was Richard. I was like, yeah, I'm sorry, Richard Sherman, but that's just that's just ridiculous. You need to get the hell out of here. Bills versus Saints. It's gonna be a Saints Super Bowl win. Damn it! I knew in my heart that it was gonna be the Bills, but I just wanted to say the Saints because they were real life. They have a better chance. Jordan Herrera. Okay, so is there anyone that we made a mistake on that we want to uh, want to go back? No, 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 no. Yeah, I kind of respect our decisions. There's not a whole lot of great players there. So who the hell can we get? So we have 75 mil. I'm going to guess that a lot of teams have a lot of money, so maybe we made a poor decision. So after uh, letting go of the entire roster, did Mahomes drop? Oh, he did drop. He lost a throw power. Five throw on the... Oh, God, he is. he's ready to go. He's, he's ready to Mahome out of here. He dropped quite a bit of ratings. Go improviser, I suppose. Terrible decision by us. Okay. Probably should have went with field general, but it is what it is. Uh, receiver in general. Every position uh, possible can, can use an upgrade. God, this team sucks. What is this DT's overall? He's 28. Nice. I love the age. <laughs> Why? So free agents, obviously, even though we have... Ooh, he's 31. Never mind. I thought he was 21. I was. I don't know why I would have thought he was 21. It's literally impossible in, in Madden. Jair is still around. Uh, it's a one-year $14 million deal. If we're in belief that we're as close as we are, we should probably make a bid on him and maybe even Denzel. We've got a lot of money to work with. Definitely should make these offers, especially if there's no one here that we can keep long-term. Reggie Joseph. That's not a bad deal. Yeah, the guards are really cheap for some reason. I mean, we could take all of these. Like, every single one of these players could be a starter for us. I'm I'm happy with it. KJ Wilson, a four-year deal. Ooh, he's really solid. I'd say there's bigger glaring needs on this team, but personally, I don't care. I just want what I want. Yeah, if there's a lineman that is decent overall without an offer, probably... Oh, oh God, I didn't know we were... I didn't know it was that serious on these these linebacker streets that our guy would have that many freaking offers. I may have made a mistake. And by may have made a mistake, I've made a terrible mistake. DeAndre Purvis, a $5 million deal. He's a good block shedder. I mean, I don't know. There's some decent players here. I was hoping for a little bit more developable pieces, but you'll see the results when we get them. Ugh, I don't know. I can already tell you we aren't going to get Jair Alexander. Of course you reject. I don't get it. I offered 10 points more. And we actually were an okay team, but it is what it is. We landed a couple of linemen. We did get Denzel Ward, so it's fine, I guess. I would have liked to have lockdown corners for even just a season. Uh, receivers, I really didn't see any big names that we could have done anything with. Wilson will play the left tackle spot. I'm, I'm glad we made this move. Cost us a little bit, but you know, he even has an upgrade point. Get him to an 85 overall. I like it a lot. Not a bad move. Of course, the left guard we got is kind of just a uh, temporary fix. Do need a tight end desperately. Need wide receivers desperately. Running back's a big issue. Uh, linebacker, we did have options. I just, I don't know. I thought we were going to get better than the guy we had and for cheaper. Uh, I don't know what kind of wild contracts we might have on us because I know we did have a lot of salary cap, but that did kind of go away for a moment there. Uh, now nah, we saw 45 mil. And, and Mahomes is making $46 million. Uh, Hardman's making 15 Yeah, so we got some expensive contracts that... Uh, who the hell is this guy? Did we just get him? Did we just get him or was he already on the roster? Must have just got him. Oh, I remember seeing that actually. I, I did offer that. Oh, that's alright though, we got money. At first I didn't think we had money, but then I realized we did have money. Especially when we get rid of Hardman potentially. See, there's a wide receiver there. Uh, I don't think we're going to go long-term for this fella. We got a bit of a steal because we got a normal development. Actually, was he normal? If he's normal, he's not as good as... It's not that good of a steal, actually. Yeah, 74 overall. Uh, Michael Butler, 25 years old. Decent. We got him on a three-year, like, $6 million deal. So it's a steal, but it's not that great. McCole Hardman, we're going to trade off no matter what because too expensive for a guy that's not really playing that... Actually, he did play pretty well. I don't know. 
Depends on where we land in the draft. There's a lot of good wide receivers, but they're all in the top 10, top 15 range. Just can't get up to that pick. Um, I, think, I mean, we need a DT, even though one of the DTs is really good. Yeah, I was about to say one of the DTs is really good. The second one is also very good, but he probably won't make it past, like, I don't even know, 15, 20? Okay, so one of the players we wanted is gone. He was a cornerback, so we're going to go to the Jets now because... There's not much more there that we want. We give him a third next, a left guard, and, of course, pick 25 to move up six spots, which I think is pretty damn fair. It shouldn't cost us that much. Uh, I didn't scout this. I mean, I scouted this guy, but I didn't look into this guy. Kind of a steal, man. God, he looks decent, but we also have Donald Burbank, who obviously is in need. Yeah, there's, I mean, I mean, there's no question about it. 76 overall as well, 21 years of age. I mean, he looks like a freaking beast to me. I mean, that guy looks insane, actually. Even his strength is actually really high for a uh, for a finesse type as well. Was that the, the pass rusher? I really want to see this pass rusher. It was the pass rusher, so we'll take a look at what he's like. Uh, did we make a mistake? We'll find out. So we have a tackle that is, like, late second, and then a wide receiver that's early third. So, well, first things first, let's go to the next round, because obviously we don't have to worry about that. They should both be there at least mid. I don't know how far I'm willing to let this go, though, because this wide receiver, he's not crazy decent looking, but he's got good potentials, and he's uh, got the number one speed for 40 time, I'm pretty sure. I think I'm just going to keep going until one of them's gone. I mean, we don't need that tackle as bad, though, but we need that wide receiver. There's the tackle. Okay, so he was a very good tackle, in fairness. To go to the Niners, uh, hopefully he's there. I mean, I don't think he would have been taken that high. I don't even know how good Alani Carr is, but he's 75 overall. I think he's decently young. Probably should have given him that fourth round after all, but it is what it is. We're here. Is it bad that we're we're basically basing this all off of the fact that he's fast? I don't know. I guess maybe not. Maybe not. Okay, so he is a very bad overall. 69 overall is trash, but he is hidden. He's got a bit of... He's a lot slower than I thought. I mean, 93 speed is good, but the rest is a lot slower than I would have thought. Go to the next round, and I might just trade up straight away. This linebacker's going to be the death of me. He's kind of slow, but he's by far the best one left. Talent early second grade, which, you know, I know they're wrong usually, but usually I don't get that big of a jump. Fast outside of the 40 time, which is just brutal to have to deal with. Then we also do have Devontae Blake, who looks really good himself. Mid-fourth. Mid fourth. Oh man. Do we just keep going until one of them's gone? Just like we always do. If we can get to like 16, that would be great. I know we're taking the hit here, but Harvey in eh, four of four. Was that the right guy? Um oh yeah, it was. Okay, thank God. I was about to say, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait, we have pick 25 in the third as well. Okay, we're not doing too bad here. We're gonna take Demarcus Wooden. He's the best linebacker left. Uh, hmm, I don't know, actually. I like the three cone and the 20, but everything else is kind of bad. Does have good tackle and awareness and pursuit, so he should be a really good overall. Or another 69 overall. We got really lucky. I honestly was thinking 74, 75 overall just based on the tackle and awareness. And then he would maybe have, if we're lucky, star. But it turns out he was a bad overall. Um, Yeah, so 25... If the running back's there, I think we will take him. Thank you, game, for taking him one pick before us. I love when that happens. There's literally nothing in life that I love more than that. Beltrain is obviously a very good player. There's not really much more left for us to go with, though, so I think we're going to trade this pick down. So we uh, get a third round next year from the Raiders so they can take a 60 overall right end. Of course, scenario would be... Are they for real? There's no way that's possible. That literally can't be possible that the Ravens back-to-back -back take the player we want right in front of us. There's no chance that's real. That's It's got to be a mirage. That's a joke, man. 71 overall, he better not be hidden. I swear to God. God, if he's hidden, I actually can't believe. Like we normally, we can we have to look around, find where you know who we missed and whatnot. Nope, all we have to do is uh, just go to the Ravens because they took all the players we wanted. Hopefully, every other pick for them was bad. Oof, only star though. That's kind of trash. It's all right. I mean, he's a really good player, but I was hoping for superstar, maybe even X Factor. Although, if only one guy on this on this class could have been superstar, 
That was the guy that I wanted because wide receiver is terrible for it. If only two of the three could be superstar, those are definitely the guys I wanted to be superstar. That is not bad. Brian Walls, number one DT in the class, and you can see why. Very, he's like a better version of our guy. The question is, does he have better development? And of course he does, obviously, superstar. Uh, wide receiver, perhaps? Look at Daniel Paul looking fast. Agility sucks. Jumping's really good for... That might be one of the highest coverage linebacking jumping ratings from a rookie I've ever seen. I only thought it could go to like 82 or something. 85, 66 catching isn't terrible either. Pretty damn good coverage stats. Stamina's kind of rough. Injury's really rough. So does toughness. Uh, but pretty damn fast. What's that development though? What's that development? Honestly, our guy might be better. Our guy might be better than him. All right, let's take a look at the Ravens making me want to cry. Uh, so here's the running back, Devontae Blake. Normal development, that's it? Okay, I mean, maybe I'm not as mad as I thought I was. Uh, and then Lucas, okay, I'm not, hey, they're not bad picks, don't get me wrong, but considering, yeah, they, they had a pretty trash, oh, what a weird player. 24 years old, 66 overall, hidden. What is he, like, unless he's X-Factor, he's terrible. Ew. Gross. That is disgusting. Okay, the Ravens, I, I feel sorry for you. I'm not mad at you anymore. I pity you. That was actually honestly sickeningly bad. Where the hell did our center go? Do we not have a center? I swear to Jesus we had a center. Yeah, this would be a really good offensive line if our center didn't just disappear. Well, here we go right here. Lucas Rutherford, rookie. Not bad, normal development, but still good. Need a punter? Trip Grayson it is. I'll take him. Moses Savage, I suppose. Hidden development, wide receiver, obviously going to be star, but not a bad little backup to hold on to for a while. You never know. Plus, when's if he is a beast? When's if he's X-Factor? No, he's not. He's. I think O-line probably the only steal you could probably get in that situation. Uh, so we have Chark starting, Greer probably then the number two spot. So I think we might actually trade... Uh, McCole Hardman. It depends, actually, if Greer is... Greer's on a contract year, but it's not going to cause that much. But I still think we probably should trade Hardman. So we trade a third this, a fifth next, Hardman in for McKinney. He started Velman, he's 25, but he needs a contract, so... I think it's fair Hardman still probably got a few more years in him, just because he's fast. Evan freaking Ingram. 72 overall. He's still kind of fast, though, at, uh, what is it, 30, 35? Okay. I'll take him as a backup. Why not? Everyone needs a backup. 24, 24-year-old 24 star development, I, I guess. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much. Not going to go anywhere with that, but I, mean, I suppose. 83 overall with an 84 offense, 83 defense. Not terrible. You know, as far as drafts go, it's about as much as you could ask for in our position. We're going to move up way to number two. I got to change. Like, he looks old, and he's wearing glasses in the picture. Could we not... All I can tell you is Skin Tone 5 got the oldest faces in the history of faces. It, it just does. It just, I, don't, I don't know. It's just the way the game is. That changes the picture, right? Please tell me. Thank you. I, I just can't. I just can't. I mean, I just can't do it. I, I'm not happy. <laughs> uh, defensively now, uh, Wooden is going to be uh, the, num the number one left outside linebacker. Anyone else... No crazy changes. Of course, here's McKinney, if you guys wanted to see. 25 years old. Uh, oh, okay, he's a lot better than I thought he was, but still, I think it was a fair trade. You know, they got a third and a fourth, plus a fast receiver for a safety. You know, and one that still doesn't have much of a chance to, you know, become a 90-plus or anything like that. Maybe 84, 85 overall max by the end of his career. Oh, Michael Butler, tight end, star development. I really don't care, but hey, that's pretty cool. All right, so uh, early negotiations have... Oh, Malcolm McKinney's kind of expensive. We're going to give him the deal, though, just because... The deal, though. <laughs> Who wants the deal, though? Five-year, $40 million is not bad. Look how much money we have. However, Mahomes needs a contract. I'm willing to give him a two-year... No, I'm going to give him a one-year. One-year deal worth $38 million. That's probably pretty close to the tech. Okay, dude. Uh, Denzel Ward, maybe. Mays will definitely give him a contract right now because... He'll be, even if he regresses a little bit, he'll be worth an $8 million deal. Uh, Evan Ingram, no. Rutherford, no. Darian, die. And that's actually very expensive for a guy with no potential. Well, 
very little potential and a very low overall. Uh, Greer will probably give a contract to Bola. Yeah, we'll definitely give him a contract. He could play free safety if he has to. You know, left guard depends on if he doesn't drop down to a 15 overall. Yeah, not uh, pretty obvious moves. Okay, Mahomes, you're going to get tagged and probably lose money. All right, so this uh, this tight end's back at it again with another breakout. Highly doubt he gets this one, though. If he gets this, he's a god. Yeah, but if he would have got that, he would have been woof. Honestly, I think we might let Greer go. I didn't really think about it, but he is kind of trash. We're definitely going to sign Bola, though, like we said. We have a lot of money, so hopefully no one else does, and we can just uh, steal everyone's best players. Free agency. Love it. All right, we're heading to the playoffs. We had a pretty damn good start to the season. We started 3-0. Did lose a few games in between, but starting the sim, we did really well. Hopefully, we didn't lose a bunch in a row. And I'm going to say we probably did. Wow, we definitely did. We must have lost at least five games out of the last eight. Five exactly. Are you joking me? Are you kidding? Mahomes, not great. Decent season. There's just no touchdowns at all on this damn team, it seems. Uh, good receiving numbers for once. Michael Butler could have done enough to super get to superstar. Tyson Wade did really well, uh, considering it's his first year starting as a 69 overall as well. Offensive line was amazing. Uh, there's no issues there. Wooden could be an X factor. He very well could be. Once again, I don't know why the coverage linebackers get so many sacks. I get you probably blitz, but more than the starting edges, really, for real? I, I guess. I don't. I don't know. Here's the Bucker missed five kicks, so he might be on the way out. Any award wins? That's uh, that's the big one. Please tell me we won best uh, rookie of the year. We did. That's clutch. And then Wood and defense are rookie. Nice. Okay, so we did win some very nice awards after all. Even though we missed the postseason, I want to cry. Let's go to the Super Bowl. See what the DevOps are, because there may be a few. Also, do want to see it's Saints Patriots. Who's going to be the winner? Patriots were actually pretty decent, so it wouldn't surprise me. And they do. So the Saints back-to-back -back years cucked themselves, unfortunately. Uh, Way is still a superstar, but that's fine. Butler didn't go up to superstar, which sucks. Running back is a position of need now. Uh, Chark retired. Defensively, um, really, just... We're not going to upgrade. I thought Wooden would have maybe went up in development. No? Okay, dudes. All right. If you if you say so. It's still a decent season for upgrading. Just developments weren't very good. We had no dev ups. Oh, my God. The tag is 46 mil. They, this, happened to, this happened last time, didn't it? That's why you got 46 mil last time, too. The little weasel. Okay. Sorry, Denzel. Not happening. Um... The punter was probably pretty decent. We'll give him a deal. The left guard actually didn't go down too badly, so we'll give him the deal he wants. Okay, see you later. All right, time to go on to the re-signing period. Clyde Parker. Okay, so we're not seeing... Oh, of course, there's a beast tight end. Parker. Okay, so we're not seeing... Oh, of course, there's a beast tight end. Of course, it... Never mind. <laughs> never, never, never mind. These guys are offering him big bucks. <laughs> okay, dudes, please be a coverage. Please be a coverage. He's a coverage? Well, he's, I, mean, he's, yeah, he's, I mean, I guess. Uh, we will take you now, sir. If you don't mind, come with us. He definitely won't come with us, but <laughs> it is what it is. Ah, uh, Nash. Oh, superstar, actually. Not bad. Do we need alignment that badly? We need to replace our left guard. This is a much more expensive option. The Jets are going to rob us on both players, aren't they? They're 100% they're going to. Saquon Barkley. Reggie Joseph's not getting a deal, so we're going to get him back if we can. Leighton Vander Esch is an 80 overall X Factor. 35 years old. Still in the league. What a G. Baker X Factor Mayfield. Okay. You know, a lot of decent linemen, so it's not super hard to get them. Ooh. 25? That's a steal! Okay, this is this is some cheese. Yeah, maybe not 160. We can get it like 120 or something. How? Is he really going to tell? I will give him 100. Like, okay. Five mil a year? I will do that. I will be very glad to. He's robbing us, guys. Look at his 133 points. Oh, he's robbing us. Oh, no. I hope nobody lets this happen. I don't want to be fleeced this bad. 
I don't know what draft pick we're going to have, but we're going to trade a lot for a top pick if we can get a wide receiver out of it. We actually got pretty much everyone we wanted. So we got the cheap-ish guard. We got the more expensive guard. We got the more expensive linebacker. Got a cheap safety, a cheap corner, and then a really expensive one being Parker. About 18 mil, 87 overall, but it's only a one-year deal. You know, I think you want to spend your cap if you got it to, uh, you know, make the best possible roster right now. So, Darby will likely be playing... Do we want to play him at center? Play him at left guard and then put the left guard at center. The beast, you know, pretty decent line. Maybe a little bit less overalls than this year. Why does the game do this? Like, why does it do that? I just, like, one time, just don't, please. You know, less overalls, but better development, so take it how you will. Do need a new running back, but there's, once again, there's none in there. Uh, linebackers, Pierman, paying him about 10 mil a year. Maybe actually, a little bit more, 12 mil a year, which is a bit expensive, can't lie, especially after drafting a super steal like Wooden. We probably could have just risked it and tried to, to land another one, but that's yeah, fine. That's all right. 10 million for, pretty damn expensive, but... Best option. Probably could play safety if he switched the man in zone, but obviously he can't. We lost the guard we had last season, but we did add an 80 overall kicker. Big discussion. Fifth year contracts. Who wants a fifth year contract? Well, technically, technically no, because we want to um, we want to resign him ASAP. I think he's like an 89 overall. If we you know do the tag and whatnot or whatever the rookie deal extra year it'll be like a 96 overall getting pretty much max all right so the dream here is to get to, to maybe 11 and be able to take a wide receiver because there's going to be a wide receiver going in the top five most likely so we need to try to get one of the two the longer wide receiver takes the better it is for us pick five it's still there nice and there he is martin davison I'm worried. I'm worried. I want to get just outside of the 10. If we can... Whew. Okay, I don't know how good this guy's going to be, but the Rams at 11, we will try to trade with if we can. I wanted to give him two fourths, but they wouldn't take it, so we gave him Bankston. We'll give him a fourth this and a fourth next anyways, though, just to make it more fair. And then I'll have someone in the comment section... Really? Someone in the comment section saying... Yeah, you already made the trade. It's so unrealistic that you're trading more. It's like, mate, it's because you can't do large trades outside of 3v3. So the pick 11, you know, we had to make this move. We wanted him. We're going to be going with wide receiver Jaquan McMichael, who actually looks really, really good. You look at the 40 time, not bad. And then the three cone and 20 is really good. Bench press is decent. Vertical jump is good. This guy looks pretty decent. And he is 75 overall hidden. Supposed to go 8, we took him 11. Uh, you know, not as fast as we were hoping, but still really damn fast. Stamina is not bad. Injury, meh. Toughness, really bad, though. You know, you can't upgrade toughness, so you gotta look at those those ratings you can't upgrade. Like, you can upgrade speed, excel, agile, jump, all of that, but you can't upgrade uh, stamina or toughness. So, you know, those are the stats you look for, and you can kind of throw juke move in there a little bit, because it's not as easy, but mainly not even just because it's not easy but more because it's just not worth it i think you pretty much have to go with physical for a chance at it i don't know maybe slot i don't even know there probably is a way but it's just not worth it comparatively to go to like you know oh caleb sap is still there though we definitely need a running back wait where's our i had what wait sap is there but the others aren't there was guys that were later i'm so confused reggie lewis is gone too okay i don't want to trade up to one in the second round. But I didn't expect these guys to all go. We also have Connor Godwin who looks like a freaking Godwin. Uh, but we do have a center later we could wait on. <laughs> this guy doesn't look as good. Oh crap, it's not who I thought it was. Wait, no it is. No, the, the, okay, I was thinking of the safety. Never mind. I just didn't put him on the list because I expected him to be gone. Because of course he's an early first talent. Um... I guess we're going to trade up. We we need a running back decently bad. He's probably worth it. I mean, he looks pretty good. I don't know why nobody took him. Could be one of those situations where we end up getting like a super steal. 49 and uh, 79 overall Dean, the right outside linebacker who they need for pick one. Not terrible. You know, they're getting a starting caliber player. 27, I believe. 26, one of the two. Uh, Combine grade wasn't that high, but he, I mean, he looks good to me. I don't know what they're not seeing. 
I mean, yeah, 73 overall hidden. What is that hitting going to be? I don't know. But, yeah, oh, he looks great. He's a great player. No receiving ability, even though it's a... No, it is. He is. I can never mind. But I say I thought he was a receiving back because he does not look like one. Might make one final trade up for Mr. Nate Wagner. Uh, don't get me right, wrong. Uh, Connor and Burks, they all look decent. You know, Craig Reed looks really solid. But I think we have all those positions pretty much filled through free agency. Uh, so we're going to move to, like... 16 if we can so this might seem like a reach but i don't know we traded 52 next year for their third round i just think we're probably gonna make the playoffs and let's say we get to pick 29 you know 60 what is well 29 what is a 61 61 for 80 this isn't terrible so i'm just hoping this guy's freaking worth it his combine grades are pretty damn good he was the best center which isn't saying much because there wasn't that many good ones but please Another 60. I mean, he's hidden. I'll take it, right? But another 69 overall. What the hell am I supposed to do with that? So we ended up with three players, but we did have the trade up for all of them. So that's why, you know, of course, our picks didn't have that many drafted players. Please be good. I was going to say, please be X Factor, but Superstar, I mean, that's really good. We have not great wide receivers. Please be Superstar or better. Please. Mm, that's kind of rough as a starter. Let's change his number. I don't like 48. That's disgusting. He's an elusive back, so whatever. We'll do 25, I guess. Super original there, pal. Nate Wagner, 69 overall. Development is probably star. Super. Is that three 69 overalls with su I'm telling you, man. Something about those 69 overalls that are just... Uh, oh, God. That guy is fast. Is he a pass rusher? It's a coverage linebacker with some speed. Catching is terrible, though. What are they doing? I've seen a player build just like that with that exact same catching. Superstar development's great and all, but honestly, if I'm usering, if I have that guy, I'll probably just turn him into a damn pass rusher if I can because that's just too bad at catching to try and use her with. Oh, I didn't realize Davison was that small. Okay, so maybe he's not that good after all. I lied. He's very good. X-Factor. What about the other guys you missed? There was a safety I wanted. The running backs went high. Well, maybe not running backs, but one of them went very high. Rashawn Dixon. Ooh, he's actually very good, though. Salmon is great. Toughness sucks, though. If you could switch injury and toughness, I'd probably switch him just because, well, then again, it takes you a long time to catch up. Start of element. That guy's kind of a beast, though, because he's a tank. And then where's the other running back? So there's Dixon. The other running back went at 29. I had this guy on the list as well. 5'8 to 12. A bit slower. I mean, our guy looks better than all these guys so far. I don't know what the hell they're seeing in them. Start of it. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Here's Reggie Lewis. We had him on the list as well. 21 years old. 6'4. Looks like a beast. What's his development? Star development. Nothing special, but decent. Damn, Godwin was a beast. Oh, although he was only normal. Still a really good lineman. But hey, we're on that come up. Unfortunately, it's uh, happening while Mahomes is very close to retirement. What overall is he now? Like a 97? Yeah, no, yeah. That's not good. I, I'd say he's got like two more years over the 90 overall rank. Way is going to be an 80, 81 overall. McMichael looks pretty decent. No, all we need is like a fast number three, and that's about it. Wagner's probably going to play backup this season. You know, he's a superstar and all, but... Ugh, Superstar is pretty good, though. Yeah, we'll start him at center. It is what it is. The defensively, uh, very good as well. Uh, did we not draft, like, a starter? I thought we def drafted a defensive. No, it was all offense, wasn't it? It was a center, a wide receiver, and a running back. Interesting. 84 across the board. This is what the team looks like. A lot of rookies starting. Obviously, we do have to uh, you use our upgrades, so maybe a little bit higher for lucky, maybe 85. But, I mean, it's definitely getting there. It definitely looks better than when it started. Of course, we keep replacing cornerbacks with one-year options, so maybe we, at some point we need to actually draft one for the future. I don't know. But it's not bad. It's probably top. 10 worthy now maybe all right we've seen this one before let's just give him a 42 million oh my lord <laughs> he's it's gonna happen again isn't a five-year 105 million dollar deal it could have been worse so let's just 
Here we go. Six year. Boom. Done. Should have done a seven, honestly. All right, let's head to the playoffs. Uh, this season looked very solid. I don't think we're going to blow it this time, but, I mean, <laughs> don't underestimate a sim team under the control of us, right? You know, it's let's... Let's be honest, we're uh, we're as good as it gets when it comes to blowing a sure thing. Not this time, Fort. Okay, me, maybe the op. Every time I say something, it's the opposite. Man, I I just can't wait to live the rest of my life in poverty and just never have millions and trillions of dollars. It's, uh, it's can't wait, man. It's gonna be so awesome. <laughs> Let's go, boys. Uh, but of course, fourteen. That's so crude. Fourteen and two, best season yet. Although Mahomes. Kind of not agreeing with that. Ru That's really good rookie season. I know the yards per carry isn't great, but 1,204 yards with 12 touchdowns. Receiving McMichael could be an X factor after this season. Uh, I don't know. Oh, Michael Butler. Okay, I thought that was the backup wide receiver. Uh, Way gets kind of at number one, does worse than his number two season. It is what it is. Pierman. Are we in a 3-4? What the hell is going on here? It's our best season yet for pass rush by far, but what's going on? Like, how are we... I don't know. Holmberg with a nice season as well. This is easily the best season. Like, without, you know, blank out the record, still, like, by far, obviously, but, you know, it kind of makes sense because best record because of the best stats. Uh, top two for rookies. Um, hell, yeah, number three anyways for, for running back. Wide receiver, number five. Not bad at all. Number two O lineman. Yeah, we uh we definitely had a breakout season. Number two kicker. That would have been nice if we were number one. Gonna be in the divisional with a pretty decent overall, I'd imagine, too. 87 overall, not bad. So the Jaguars, we know who have uh Lamar Jackson. Uh we are uh, about to face them. Could actually make the Super Bowl. You never know. Alright, going to the end of the game. We see all the Patriots actually lost, so it's gonna be the Texans in the championship game. Hopefully we can meet them there. Come on, Mahomes and company. We got to do better than this. Defense is locking up. Of course, I say that, and defense starts to struggle. Come on, offense. Come on, fellas. I believe in you. I believe in you. And Mahomes throws a pick. Nice. Good job, Mahomes. Can we play some offense? I'm coming. I can't, I can't deal with this. We have a great team now. Like, play like it, lads. Perfect throw, and caught by McMichael. Holmes is playing like garbage. We're going backwards. Okay, fellas. What is going on here? Overtime defense make a stop. Please, they do. Damn, that's... Are we going to get safety and lose? Jesus, fellas. This is tragic. What a game. Fourth and one. They don't get it. Are we going to lose? Okay. I'm... Mahomes is quite something. I'll tell you what. Mahomes had four interceptions. Yeah, he's uh, what they like to call basically washed. He had almost the same amount of regular season picks right in this season. Come on, man. They had 500 yards of punting, and we lost the game. Yeah, we're going to do one final season. Really good or really bad, doesn't matter. You're not going to get much better than this. It's, you know, we're about to lose Mahomes soon, so I don't think it's going to get much better than this. That is a joke. That is so bad. Look, I don't think it's unrealistic. I just think it's such a choke by us. It just makes no sense. Jaguars versus the Seahawks. We have a... Can we get to it? Can we get to the point? Can we... We have a... Wow, 44-3. to Okay, maybe our team's a bit better than I thought. Let's take a look at these development ups before we look at our renegotiations. Uh, Sap goes up to a superstar development, which is massive. That is a huge win. Uh, defensively, anyone? I do not believe so, but still, our running back is, uh, he's primed to be a beast. So who do we actually have the, to get replaced? Because our offensive linemen should be fine. They are both 90 overall. Uh, you know, interior of the line is great. We could use a number three wide receiver, but even then, Stacy's not fast, but he's decent. You know, he's a perfect little slot guy. Maybe a little bit bigger than we would have wanted, but... Uh, linebackers, perfectly fine. Can't really get much better than, I guess, maybe replace Byers in the draft if we can. Uh, our DT did go, unfortunately. So we do need a DT. Of course, we need to replace cornerback again. Really just DBs and, you know, I guess, there, you know, maybe a few pieces on defense. That's about it.
So surprisingly enough, there's actually a coverage linebacker, Mr. Kyler Miller, superstar development. And he's not really asking for that much, like $10 million a year. I mean, I'll take that any day of the week. Seems pretty fair to me. There is also a DT, Mr. AC McKinney. It's to be a huge win if we get this guy. If we don't, I'm going to be sad. How? I offered him 115 points. The next highest was 96. How high do you have to freaking offer on these guys? I swear to Jesus. This game pisses me off in the wrong ways. That corner was terrible, by the way, so I don't even care. That's why I lowballed him. Here, if you want to see the corner, I'm not just being butthurt. He's, he's trash, but I figured he's an X Factor. We need a number three, whatever. But nope, I'm glad. Screw you. Not you guys, the, the game. Devin White, I mean, what is he going to do for us? He's still that fast? Jesus, 34 and he's that fast? He's still good. That's disgustingly good. All right, so for the... What in the big font? Lair Darren Foote is the number one pick. There's some cornerbacks. We have two of them. Uh, I don't even remember what the hell our guy's name was. I already, I like, already forgot. Ron Benson. I don't think it was one of them. That guy was actually pretty short. But I think we're gonna have to trade up to like 18 or 20. I wish, like, once again, it's it's kind of a specific. It's a ugh. It's a specific. It's a specific need <laughs> uh, to want to ugh to move down where you want to go with your draft pick. Ooh, Cam Bowden might be our guy actually. Let's take a look at available. He is. Damn it. No more. No more. I, I regret everything. Well, this is the final season for us, so I really don't care. We get in the second round next year. We move up, what is it, nine picks? Was it nine or ten? I think it was nine. Nine picks to grab this cornerback. Uh, we did have a tackle as well, Case Die, which we do need to tackle, but uh, Derek Graves is the number one corner we have available, and he looks pretty damn good. B plus zone, B plus press, B play rec. Insane combine grade. I think the other guy was a little bit better, but maybe not. I don't know how you can get really much better than that other than maybe catching and jumping, but holy crap, this guy's ridiculous. Even 69 hit power. All right, big jitterbug letters again. Where was that linebacker projected to go? Like, he's not ridiculously good, but his speed is actually pretty solid. Late third. Hmm. I also have another cornerback, but nah, I don't really think that guy's that good. Late third. There's no way he's going to be here. I'm going to really regret this decision, but I don't think we can get to, like, mid to high second anyways. Please be there, pal. Please be there. Wow, they're all gone. Early fifth. They, this guy's probably going to be gone, too. It is what it is. If this guy's gone, too, I'm suing somebody. Somebody's getting sued. Okay, he's there. Keelan Mays. I mean, he doesn't even look that amazing. I'm just going to take the guy and shut up now. Hey, hidden development, 70 overall. He's very raw. 54 block finesse for the run. Yeah, I said it that way. <laughs> what are you going to do about it? Okay, so I don't know what the developments are going to be, but if we don't at least land like one superstar, this is a trash draft. I mean, it wasn't bad, but we have like two picks. Like there's nobody else. Oh, man. And we already got rid of our second round next year. That corner better be better than star development. I guess I can't complain. It's like, look, look at these players. They're so bad. Why do we have so many wide receivers scouted, by the way? Where does it take a random punter? And. <laughs> Am I a god? I swear. Random punter, Stuart Warner. I mean, I don't even know. Like, he's probably just star development, but still. I mean, I randomly took the guy. Right, let's take a look at this draft recap. Did we land anyone over star? I'm honestly thinking no. I really. This hold the A reorder. Oh! Okay, we landed an X-Factor corner. Keelan Mays, let's take a look at his development. I hate when this game makes me so happy to play it. It's just, I just hate it. It's just, it's hard to like think straight. How, like a whole day to to dis, to uninstall the game. What? Let's take a look at the players we missed on. So, the other corner was this guy, Cam Bowden. Bowden, 23 years old. Uh, better jumping, better catching. I don't think he's going to be better than our guy, though. Okay, maybe he is. Wow, similar. It's both X-Factor corners. Yeah, our guy's definitely way better, though. Uh, who the hell is this guy? 80 overall tackle. 
Oh, he's normal. Look at the speed. Look at the excel. Look at the strength. Look at the ratings. Six foot eight. If they would have given him a hit, and I would have been moistified. I honestly already forgot what the middle linebacker's overall was or name was. Ah, oh, here he is. Definitely Dixon. Deacon Dixon. Okay, he was not very good. I get he's hidden, but unless he's superstar or X Factor. Yeah, I, I don't care that. That wasn't that bad of a miss by us. I'm not mad at all. All right, time to fix this stupid A to reorder, and we'll uh, we'll finish our final season here. And by fix, I mean force quit the game. I hate this. So we trade our running back and Molden for uh, a third-round pick, which I think is kind of fair, right? It's only a third round. You're not going to get much out of the third round anyways. And I don't know why I'm putting so much emphasis on third round. X-Factor Brian Burns is in there. He's still actually really fast for a 34-year-old. All right, so for our final look at the roster, we have three superstars on the inside. Where are their ages, actually? Darby is 26, Adcock is 28, and I would assume the center is like 22, 23, 23. Uh, right tackle is actually kind of old. He's like 31, so, you know, this is pretty much the final season. You got 36-year-old Mahomes who legit could just straight up retire, you know, it's, unless you're one of the, the legacy quarterbacks, you'd have no guarantee We'll buy the QB retention thing, though. Linebacker, we could use a new middle linebacker. Corner, outside of Graves, definitely. A Grave position. I'm sorry. I was going to... No. Holt, how old is Holt? 27, 28? 28! Obviously, he's got Grave finesse anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's a decent team. 86 overall really doesn't do it justice, honestly. I think this is the first time I've ever seen a quarter uh, a coach fully max, like proper. Every single ability is, like, had... Well, here we go, headed to the playoffs. We were off to a very good start, so if we don't make the playoffs, this is like a monumental choke. Probably the biggest one of all time, like over the Dolphins, everyone. Like, this would be the biggest choke ever. Can I... Thank you. Uh, okay, it still was a choke. We were 9-0 uh, and at one point, and we lost 3, won 3, lost 1. Okay, can we uh, not do that? It would be nice to have an undefeated season, like a legit undefeated season. Mahomes up the yards. Touchdowns keep dropping. Picks, though, they're still staying pretty low. Sap up the average. Lowered the touchdowns. Backup got a little bit more this season. Really good season for Sap. Yet again. I don't understand where this Stacy guy is coming from, but apparently he's a god. Uh, linebackers are sacked. Holt with 12.5. 10.5 for McCrary. Might see a superstar development for that Holt fella. Three picks for Mr. Graves. Can't get any higher development, so I don't really care too much about that. Offensive line played great once again. McNeil is is as good as it gets. Holmberg. Not my Mahomberg anymore. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying here. Uh, Mahomes best quarter, well, offensive player of the year. Defensive rookie of the year. Come on, Graves. It's a grave mistake. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I'm done. Uh, any other award wins? Number two for Wooden. Yeah, we got some. I mean, we won a few, and then we got really close on a few, which will, you know, most likely mean Pro Bowl. We're 90 overall team, 92 0, 88 defense. We have, what is, is Mahomes having a m huge morale? Plus one in morale. He's still a really good QB, but he's already down to 93. I'd say he's probably going to drop to like an 88, 89 by you know, next season. Receivers look good. Obviously, once again, we could have... Uh, you know, morale boost. Butler has turned into a really decent tight end for us. And he had two uh, scenario chances at Superstar, and he just didn't get either of them. Graves has, what is his ability? Zonehawk, Unfakeable is meh. I don't really care too much. I think Secure Tackler or, of course, the Beast Acrobat is what you're really aiming for. Who are we playing against? The Patriots. I almost just simmed it. That would have been disgustingly bad. This should be almost a... Oh. Never mind. <laughs> Not a walk in the park. 85 overall. All right, so 7-0. to zero. All right, second quarter. No, nothing's happening. All right, 7-3. to 14-3. to three. Could... Lads, thank you. 14-11. to 11. Please, please. 21-18. to 18. Okay, we're looking good. We're looking good. Let's slow it down now. 25-21. to 21. Fourth and one. I know you can't go for it there, but at the same time... Killer instinct, one yard. Are you joking me? What's the scenario here? Field goal. You need one yard. You got my homeboy. It's like one yard. What's so hard? By the way, I had no idea if he had escape artist or not. It's still, I figured he would, but like if he didn't, I would have been screwed. All right, two minute warning. 
Defense can hold it. Defense can hold it. Wait, what happened? Why would we kick a field goal, a touchdown, whatever it was? Why would we do it? We should have just hold on, held on to the ball and just won. All right, dude. Uh, Mahomes played pretty damn well, at least. Rushing was horrendous, and I did say whore. Michael Butler, man, he is really good free agent pickup for us. I, I know this team loves their tight ends, but, man, he's he's been good. He's been good. To the championship round, who do you guys think? That, I'll tell you what, that is not who I thought. 84 overall Jets, 90 overall Chiefs. If we're not in the Super Bowl, I, uh, I, I, I would say I quit, but I kind of, this is kind of the last season anyways. All right, end of the game. Hey, I, I think we started off on defense, got the ball back, huge rushing touchdown, did it again, got a touchdown, field goal now. Start of the second half. Oh, we've got this in the bag, boys. We've got this in the bag. 24-7, to long drive. Didn't score, but a long drive is a long drive. Yeah, our team uh, our team showed up. They uh, they showed they were the much better team. 38-7 to is a very successful game. Uh, their guy is not ready. <laughs> not ready at all, Mahomes. Chance at a last-second Super Bowl. Caleb Sapp with a nice game. Longest was a 61. I don't think I've seen any other big runs, so still really consistent on top of the huge run. And look at the pass rush duo. Dime. That's a really good pass rush. Nice. Of course, the Saints. I think they've been in, like, every Super Bowl outside of one. They're only an 81 overall, but guess what? This is going to be the one they win, isn't it? it it's going to be the one they win. There's, I mean, I'm not even going to argue with you. Seven all start of the second half quarter. We're looking okay with a seven point lead. 14 point lead. Come on, boys. This is the Super Bowl. 28 to 7. I don't think they're coming back from 35 to 7. I'm just I'm just saying. And the perfect way to well, I guess not perfect way. Three years is always perfect for me. The fourth year is the magic one. Andrew Reed with three to four, technically. Mr. Andy Reed himself. Gets another ring. He's he's just win he's just making it look easy now. He doesn't even care anymore. Before it was too hard. Now it's just too easy for him. He's uh already, you know, Hall of Fame coach. Now he's cemented as a top three basically all time. And obviously Mahomes gonna retire as one of the best to ever do it. We'll see if that's the case real life. Could very well happen. He could win three more, four more rings, maybe even freaking six more rings for all we damn know. Or he might pull a Rodgers and just never get back. I think they have a better team and a better coaching staff. However, you just don't know. It doesn't matter how good one guy is if the rest are trash. Uh, but I believe in him and the Chiefs. A perfect game for Mahomes for his MVP award. Take a look at the podium. Seen this how many damn times. But here we go for another one. The final one for this rebuild, at least. The only one with this rebuild. But... Uh, the last one for this rebuild anyways. Byers does not deserve to be up there at all. He's like the least deserving of the linebackers, and I don't even know if any of the linebackers deserve to be up there. I'd probably put one of the damn pass rushers unless we do. Do they not? Pass rushers should definitely be up there if they aren't because they're a huge part of the run. Like, I don't remember the last time there wasn't an elite pass rusher on a Super Bowl winning team. I'm trying to think of it. I, I don't know if they're, like, maybe the Patriots, but, like, they had... A, High tower. He's not really a pass rusher. He's kind of like a hybrid, but he's made great pass rush moves in the postseason every time. So, kind of, right? I, I I think pretty much every team has had an elite pass rusher that's won the Super Bowl. It's, it's a key. Or they've at least played really well down the stretch or something. I don't know. Stop putting me on the spot, damn it. We even look at the dev ups. Let's see, Mahomes is probably still there, I would imagine. You could see him, his little face, smiling away. What is his overall now, though? 92, probably 91. 90 overall, so he did regress quite a bit, but he's still going strong, still believing. Any other dev up? So Sap does go to an X-Fat. He was, you know, performance what? Oh, human joystick, that's so good. Performance-wise, um... Not just performance-wise, but hey, just overall dev up-wise, he is one of the best rookies we've had. You know, we don't usually get that kind of success, and he's got so much left in the tank. Defensively, any dev ups? I do not believe that to be the case. But I'm happy if you guys are happy. That is the Chiefs 10-year future rebuild. If you guys enjoyed this one, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, maybe subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, Drumpy Care. Check out the second channel. I haven't actually looked in a few days. And I'm going to upload the Pokemon video tonight, I promise. Probably.
Nah, I promised, probably. <laughs> but we're probably close to a thousand subs, right? Anyways, if you guys have a suggestion for a rebuild idea, anything, even a blast from the past, you know, player idea, let me know in the comments section below. And also, if you have a 10-year future sim team you want to see, and I see, like, everyone says, like, Redskins or something. I don't know. Some, you know, a bunch of people say the one team. That'll probably be the next one. So, suggest it if you want to. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys come back for next video. But until next video, uh, 